Hi, I'm Erin Manning, and today I'd like to tell you a little bit about a friend of mine, John McNamara. Now, John is retired, and he's also a grandfather of six. And now he finally has the time to do the things he really wants to do, like stay connected to his kids and his grandkids. He wants to share important photos and pieces of historical family legacy, like coins, military ribbons, and record the stories that go with him. But his family lives so far away, which means he has to scan everything in order to share at long distance. Now, John has internet connectivity for social media and email, and he even has a printer with a scanner. But John's not a techie guy, and he doesn't want to deal with setting up a scanner, and he doesn't want to sit in front of the computer all day. So I suggested that he try using the FlipPal scanner and the VividPix software together. Then it would be super easy to do all of this. Oh yeah, he said. Well, let me show you what I showed to John. He was amazed, and I think you might be too. So let's start with the FlipPal scanner. It's small, it's portable, you can take it anywhere, scan anytime, even in front of the TV. It records all the images here on a little SD memory card, just like the card that you find in your camera. And as soon as you finish recording these, you can quickly transfer them to your computer and then enhance those images using the VividPix software. So let's start with this faded old document. John not only wants to scan it, but also record a story that goes with it. So to scan it, all I need to do is just place it down on the tabletop here. And uh, with the flip pal, I can take the lid off, turn it on, and then turn it over like this. And I'm going to be overlapping all of these scans. You can see the document's bigger than the scanner, right? Just kind of line it up. I'm going to tap the scan button and watch it scan. Now you only have to wait for one scan and move it over here on the other corner. You want to make sure you overlap at least one inch. Now you get the idea if you want to scan larger documents, like very large documents, you could do this very same thing. Just keep overlapping the scans. Now we're finished. You want to make sure that you turn it off, pop out the memory card, and now we'll just pop it into the computer and open up the Easy Stitch software and stitch all those pieces together. And now I just need to click on the FlipPal toolbox and it opens up this toolbox for me to choose from. At the top I've got Home, Easy Stitch, and that's what we're going to click on. Easy Stitch. It detects the SD memory card. You see all the scans on your SD memory card, so if you've done a lot of scanning, you probably need to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to choose these four right here and just click on this button that says Start Stitching. So I click on that, and there you go. It's stitching. Okay, so it popped up. I'm just going to click on Open Stitched Image, and here it is. To enhance the scan, I'm going to open up the VividPix software. So let's take a look at our stitched document. We can select any of the nine document examples that pop up here because we're not going to be using any of them. This just allows us to get to the four presets located down here underneath setting name. Let's scroll through those and select the one we like best. I think starting point one looks good. It still shows a little bit of age for authenticity. Now I'm going to add a little bit of lightness to it because you can continue to adjust. I can even add a little bit of yellowing to it, which in this case also adds some clarity. Since we scanned this document on the countertop, the scanner captured a little bit of it so we can easily crop that out. And if you're happy with the adjustments you've made, just click on Save Vivid Picks. So to record a story, first you need to open up the software that's included on the FlipPal SD card. So I've opened up the FlipPal here, and now I'm just going to click on the FlipPal toolbox. 
up pops a window and I have a bunch of different things to choose from. I'm going to click on record. Next, I need to choose the image that I want to record to. So we've saved this here at the very bottom. So I'll click on that once. Now I'm going to click on the record audio button. And now I can just start recording. So I'll do something fun. I'll tap on start recording. Hey, this is John's faded old documents. Click on end. Now I can listen to it. I can re-record it and I can save it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it because I want you to listen to the recording that John did. I wanted to share this induction letter I received in 1944. I served in the U.S. Navy in World War II. Just before I received this letter, the USS Intrepid had been hit for the third time. I knew that the ship I could be assigned to could also face such a fate but I could not let fear hold me back. I had to go for the sake of my country and the world. Okay, that letter looks about 40 years younger. I can read it so much better now. And let me tell you, John was ecstatic. Now his kids can share in the family memories. John is super proud of the results. And now his whole family feels more connected. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to find out more about scanning and enhancing your old photographs, just check out the websites listed on the screen.